How is this fitting really well? Somebody, how I did not mean for this to happen. Hello, everyone. As you probably know, it's the Red Mage Crow. And welcome back to Doki Doki Literature Club. So, last recording, things got really weird. Like, really weird. It's still going to be weird. But for right now, basically, we're going to try to maintain uh, Yuri's route and make sure that she doesn't hate our poems. So, let's just go ahead and... Oh my god, there was massacre in here. I, I don't think I like that very much. Let's add a little bit of her into this. Heartbeat, heaven scent, incapable, lipstick. I'm actually finding a lot easier between these two. Controllable puppy. That. What the frick is this? I'm just gonna pick it and see what happens. I... I can still pick, guys. I... I don't think... I... I'm... Oh... That's Sayori! Oh, that's right. Um, somebody told me I should be looking at the files now. Uh, so let me open that up real quick. Terribly sorry about that, but what the frick was that? Okay, so I think I need to go here. Just give me a moment, guys. I'm sorry. Uh, com common. Da -da 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 -da. Where are you? Doki Doki. There we are. There's a lot in here that I do not especially remember. <laughs> Holy jeez, hold up. Uh. Uh. Okay, there. And, how did I get that set up? Um. I must have, like, uh, let's see. Transform. Fit to screen. So. Okay. So. Basically, that's what we have right now. And I can tell you right now, there was not a lot here. Okay, so I just opened up that file. There's a little devil inside all of us. Beneath their manufactured perception, their artificially reality, is a writhing, twisted mess of dread, loathing, judgment, elitism, self-doubt, all thrashing to escape the feeble hold of their hosts, sleeping through every little crevice they can find into their willpower. Starving them all motivation and desire into their stomach, forcing them to drown their guilt in comfort food, or into a newly opened gash into their skin, hidden only by the sleeves of a cute new shirt. Such a deplorable, tangled mass is already present in every single one of them. That's why I choose not to blame myself for their actions. All I did was untie the knot. Okay. What is this? It's a photo. It's opening up. There's nothing here. It just turned gray. Okay. It looks to be like a glitched out Sayori. Um, let's not do that. Okay, uh, I hate this, I can't do anything, nothing, no matter how many times you play, it's all the same. It would be really, really easy to kill myself right now. Oh no. But that would mean I don't get to talk to you anymore. All I want is for you to hate them. Why is that so hard? Okay, so that one must be from Sayori. Okay, so, I don't believe anywhere else. Yeah, okay. 
Okay, so... Okay, so, nothing relatively there. Got it. We basically... I think we covered everything. I should have kept it open, though. I actually closed it. Let me open that back up. I'm terribly sorry. But, holy jeez. That was a... That was a world and a half. Okay. So... Let's continue on with the actual story. And let's move this over here. Uh, that oh no, 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 stop, stop, oh, oh, no, uh, there we go. Oh, man, that's gonna do some cred to the recording, I bet you anything. Uh, let's see, did it? God dang it, hold up, guys. Okay, so if anything, if I've learned anything, I know messing outside the game can relatively screw up. A recording, that's basically what ended up happening, so I got to it in time, we're good. So, I've gotten a little bit more comfortable here over the past couple days. Entering the club room, the usual scene greets me. Ah, uh, this is not the usual- Okay, terribly sorry, got called. This recording is kind of a mess and I'm really, really sorry about it, but, I, but I'm, I'm still doing it! We're gonna be good! Okay, so. Welcome back, Red Mage Crow. And that is not, that is not okay. Oh, she's gone! Uh, hi, Yuri. I'm not sure if it's me or if it's Yuri's expression. But the weight of yesterday's quarrel still hangs in the air a little. Expression? Expression? Where is it? Where is it? Oh, there it is! Uh, um... Yuri glances over her shoulder, looking around the room. Mitsuki is reading manga at a desk. And surprisingly, Monica isn't here yet. Suddenly, Yuri takes my arm and pulls me to the corner of the room. About yesterday, I... I really need to apologize. Nothing like that has ever happened to me before. And something just came over me, I guess. I wasn't acting mentally sound. Please don't think that we're usually like this. It's not just me, but Natsuki as well. Yuri, I'm happy that you were considerate and apologized. You don't have to worry so much. Even though I've only been here a couple of days, I could tell something was off yesterday. Maybe we were just a little extra sensitive because it was our first time sharing poems. But whatever it was, it didn't make me think any less of you. I had already decided that there was no way you can be a bad person. And now that you're apologizing, I know you really didn't mean it. Ah, uh, uh, Crow. Don't say those kinds of things so frankly. They make me a little too happy. I'm really glad that you're such an understanding person. And I'm really glad you joined this club. Everything is a little bit brighter with you around, and... Ah. Sorry. Uh, what am I saying right now? I, I just... Every single time, I have to, like, do Natsuki's voice. I have to, like... <clears throat> Have you guys seen Monica? That dang girl. Always not showing up on time. Except when she actually does. Ugh. Ah. No. I haven't. I was also kind of wondering. Where she was? Where she was? I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna... No. No. Man. Yuri, I'm guessing you haven't either. Baka. Yuri is clearly taken aback by how calmly Natsuki is addressing her. No, I haven't. 
Jeez, this isn't like her at all. Baka. She's normally here. Except when she's not. I know it's stupid, but I just can't help but worry a little bit. Oh. What? Why are you looking at me like that? Because Monica says she would completely forget about it the next day. That's right. Uh, um, Matsuki, about yesterday, I, I just wanted to apologize. I, I promise I didn't mean any of the things I said. And I'll do my best to stay under control from now on. So, Yuri, what the heck are you talking about? Did you do something yesterday? Huh? Jeez. Yeah, see, I, I feel like this right here is relatively Monica. I'm on to you, girl. Whatever's on your mind, I'm sure it was nothing. I don't even remember anything bad happening. You're the kind of person who worries too much about the little things, aren't you? Uh, but... I'll accept your apology anyways, if it helps you feel better about it. Baka. Besides, it's kind of nice to hear, since I always afraid of you secretly hated me, or something like that. <laughs> uh, no, not at all. I, I don't hate you. <laughs> well, you're kind of weird, but I don't hate you either. <laughs> Natsuki turns to me. You're still on trial, though. But, hey! Suddenly, the door swings open. Sorry! I'm super sorry. Ah, there you are. I didn't mean to be late. I hope you guys weren't worried or anything. Nah. Well, Natsuki was. I, I was not! <laughs> what took you so long anyways? Ah, well, my last period today was study hall. To be honest, I just kind of lost track of time. <laughs> That makes no sense, though! You would have heard the bell ring, at least. I feel like Natsuki's voice is, like, ever so slightly changing every single time that I do it. I think. I must not have ha heard it since I was practicing piano. Piano? I wasn't even aware you played music as well, Monica. Ah, don't give me any more credit than I deserve. I guess I've been practicing for a while, but I'm still not really good yet. Still, that must require a lot of dedication. So I'm still impressed. Ah, well, thanks, Yuri. <laughs> you should play us, play for us sometime. Yeah. Hold up. <coughs> I need to take another one of these. <sighs> ah, that's the stuff. Hmm. Yeah, nothing beats a good, cold, and nice ice cream cone. Mmm. <laughs> that's... That's not an ice cream cone, Natsuki. That's... Yeah. <laughs> Monica looks at me. How is this fitting really well? Somebody... How I did not mean for this to happen! Well, I... I'm working on a, writing a song, but it's not quite done yet. Maybe once I get a little bit better, I will. That sounds cool. <laughs> Guys, send help. <laughs> I'll look forward to it. it. Is that so? In that case, I won't let you down, Crow. Monica smiles sweetly. Ah, I didn't mean any pressure or anything like that. <laughs> Don't worry. I was hoping that I could share it with you anyways. Did Monica ever have a voice? Like, I know Yuri, Sayori, and Natsuki has a voice, but... I feel like whenever I speak 
as Monica, it's just like a little bit more quiet version of my voice. I'm not sure. Did I give her a voice? I'm gonna have to look that up, but I probably won't because I'm lazy. So, yeah, there is that. I guess that's why I've been practicing so much recently. I see. I'm not sure if Monica was referring to the whole club or just me. In that case, best of luck. Thanks. So I didn't miss anything, did I? N not really. I choose not to bring up anything that the three of us talked about. Besides, Natsuki has already run off into the closet. Look at all that manga! Uh, Crow, um, since your compliments put me in a good mood, I was wondering if you would like to spend some time together today. I mean, in the club. Yeah, definitely. I planned on it anyway. Uh, okay. Can we start now? Let's find a place to sit. Uh, uh. Being a little too forceful, aren't I? I? I'm sorry. My heart just won't stop pounding for some reason. Don't worry about it. If anything, it's nice to see you having so much energy. Y yeah. But I I need to try to calm down. I won't be able to focus on reading like this. I bet you won't. Take your time. Yuri takes a deep breath, then pulls a copy of the book out from her bag. Actually, I have a request. Do you mind if I make some tea first? Not at all! Thanks very much. There's one thing that can make my reading time here any better. It's a nice cup of tea. Not to mention for yourself as well. Yuri stands up and makes her way to the closet. Olive watches she retrieves a small water pitcher from the shelf, the kind with a filter inside. C can you hold this for a second? You know, thinking about it, isn't this the exact same thing that happened on the third day? Because the second day we accidentally picked Sayori. There was that, right? Huh. Uh, sure. Yuri hands me the water pitcher, and also fetches an electric kettle. So is it gonna be... Is it gonna be the chocolate scene again, or is this a completely different scene? I'm looking forward to it. I'm going to plug this in at the teacher's desk, and I'll go get some water. She walks past me and sets the kettle down on the teacher's desk. I simply watch her movements. To my surprise, the way she moves around really contrasts her speaking mannerisms. Especially because of her long legs. Mmm, yes. <laughs> Yuri appears elegant and methodical. Okay, I have the water pitcher. Thanks, I'll be right back. Oh, frick, this isn't gonna go well. If anything, Monica seems to have it up to, like, here, which is above my head. I'm like six foot four, guys. So, if anything, she's had it up to here. I'm not standing, but still. Imagine it being at a six foot four. Monica's had it up to there. With everybody talking back with her, to her. And we know this because of what happened the previous night. Send help! This isn't gonna go well! But that's okay. You, you stay here. It won't take long. Okay, so we're not going with her this time. Woo! Ah, did Jerry leave you again? No, it's not like that this time. She's just filling up the water pitcher to make tea. Oh, okay. Sorry for misunderstanding. Ten minutes pass. Jerry said it wouldn't take long. Something holding her up? I'm bored just waiting here, so I decided to go look for her. 